Hello children, this is chapter 2 of your book. Chapter name is From Hunting Gathering to Growing Food. In this chapter, we will find the answers of these questions. These are the who were hunter gatherers, why did they travel from one place to another? How do we know about them? So, start our chapter. The name of first heading is the earliest people. Children, historians believe that human beings started living on the earth about 2 million years ago. So, first question arises, who are the historians? A person who studies the past is known as historian. Hunter-gatherers, they were called the earliest humans, whom we today refer to as hunter-gatherers. Now you all uh, recall with me, hunter gatherers, historians believe that human beings first appeared on the earth about 2 million years ago. Today we describe them hunter gatherers and these are the pick to give you an idea about them, how do they look like. Children, next question arises, why were they on move? Actually, they were used to move here and there in search of food and shelter and water and all. But here, we will discuss all those points one by one. Firstly, if they had stayed at one place for a long time, they would have eaten up all the available plants and animal resources. Therefore, they would have to go elsewhere in search of food. And second, animals used to move place to place either in search of smaller prey or in search of other things, leaves and grass. That's why uh, those who hunted them had to follow their moments and uh, third reason is plants and trees bear fruit in different season so people may have moved from season to season in search of different kinds of plants fourth reason is water people plants and animals need water to survive Water is found in lakes, streams and rivers and people living on, the, on their blanks would have had to go in search of water during the dry season. Children, see the next question. It is, how do we know about these people? Which people? The earliest people. How do we know about these people? Actually, archaeologists have found some of these hunter-gatherers made and used. It is likely that people made and used tools of stone, wood and bone. Of these stone tools have survived best. You can see the pick of the stone tools and the bone tools on the screen. Now it's time to know about their living places where they would have stayed. These places are the Hibetka, Hansgi and Kurnul caves. Children, in your book, all the places marked with the red triangles are the sites from which archaeologists have found evidences of hunter 
gatherers. Many sites were located near the sources of water such as rivers and land. First is Mimedka cave. See the peak of Mimedka cave. It is locate, located in Madhya Pradesh near to the Narmada river or Narmada valley. Here you can see the peak which is on the wall of the Mimedka cave and these paintings show wild animals like wild horses and stages and other animals drawn with great accuracy and skill. Second cave is Hansky cave and these are the pick of the Hansky cave. Did you like this cave? We find these kind of the paintings on the wall of the Hunsky cave. Now comes on Kurnul caves. Kurnul caves, archaeologists have found traces of ash in the Kurnul caves. Which proves people were familiar with the use of fire at that time. Children, now is the time of recall all the things we have learnt till yet. Archaeologists have found evidences of hunter-gatherers at various sites. These sites were located close to sources of water like river and lakes. People chose natural caves because they protected themselves from rain, heat and wind. Some important sites are Bimitka, Hansgi and Kurnul caves. The wall of these caves have paintings of wild animals. In Kurnul caves, archaeologists have found traces of ash. This suggests that people knew the use of fire. Fire was used to roast meat as a source of light and to scare of the animals. Children, we will read till he, uh, up to here and next points we will take in the next video. Till then, take care, be safe.